right here. It's the RCC cat fish turn. Got my big cat fever rods in yesterday. We're on our way to our first spot. Let's see what happens. Me and old Davis both today. Mine's a little under weather today, so we had to carry his boat. Okay, more to come here in a minute. All right, we're here at our first spot. We done got three in the boat. Well, actually, we done put four in the boat, but we couldn't get it on camera. It was hectic. I don't know if you'd be the same or not right now, but. We got a little flathead in there, two little blues, and we called it one little blue already, so. Got David out there casting. Got him on the back, me on the front. Got them big cat fevers, putting them to the test. That's what David has too, them big cats. Hey, what y'all know about them goaties? Y'all have a good day. We're going to come back to y'all. David hooked up something. We don't know what it is, but we're in deep water, so we're fighting it real slow. Get him up here. A little blue. Bert. Yeah. A little blue. We're fishing some deep water. All right, we're going to get this fish in. I'll come back to y'all here in a little bit. The, the closest one to me. All right, David's hooked up the one. I just put like a 40 pound blue in the boat. We'll see who's got. Just put that in the boat while I go. Dale circle her number 12. Y'all check them out. Hopefully it's a good one. I'll get the net ready. I think we're going to be calling another fish. Y'all, by the way, I got a GoPro, so next time I, I'm fishing, I will have that motherfucker where... Dang, excuse my language, y'all. I'm trying to quit cussing. But anyway, I'm going to have a GoPro where you can see me catching fish one day, very soon. It's hard to get me feeling whenever I'm out here by myself with David. He don't like using the camera. Yep, he's burping. Look at them bubbles coming up. We're fishing some deep water, y'all. Deep. Yep, more bubbles coming up. Y'all see it burping? That 40 pounder we just caught, I'm thinking he's around 40, but he was burping like 12 feet out from the boat. It was crazy. Alright, more to come. Got one. He feels pretty decent. Yeah, he feels good. I'm gonna bring him up slow because he's deep. He's pulling drag. Boy, these big cat fever rods, they something serious. But I ain't gonna lie, I love my ugly sticks, but these big cats are serious, y'all. Big cat heavies. And extra medium heavy. That's what Dave is using. Uh, uh, 
Goldfish? No. Goldfish is on this one. Me and David's getting a workout out here today. We're catching these fish. Here he comes. Oh yeah, we need that. We need that. Oh, yeah. We need that. Alright. Right. Well, he's been fighting with something. There we go. Alright, we got him. Let me get you some slack out. Alright. Oh yeah, we need oh yeah we need him. That might be a good under right there. Alright, we'll come back at y'all. Alright. We changed the spots. I think that was Jamie right there in front of us. I'm not too sure. Got boats everywhere out here today. It's beautiful, but it's getting hot. The fish bite has slowed down. We probably got about 70 pounds in the boat, I think. With three fish. We're just working every 50 yards, every 50 to 100. I always try to mark us some good spot on Navionics and work those spots. It, it pays off in the end, y'all. Just try it one day. Navionics has about 14 bucks on the play app store, so. Unless you got it on your phone. Alright, come back. Just so y'all know, I done switched over to the big cat. Big cats, big cats on this side. Yes. Still got my other stairs too though. Alright, we're trying to cool some fish. We got some, we got some good ones on the lot, but more to come. Alright, so we're switching up spots. It's gonna be our last spot of the day. Still got three fish in the boat, around 70 something pounds, maybe a little more, we'll see. Once it got hot past right around 11, fish went on slow bite. But we have put about 12 fish in the boat, a lot of dinks, good size ones, a couple 20 pounders, maybe that 40 pounder, we'll see what's up. We'll get to the weigh in. A bunch of boats out here just playing around, it is terrible. Now I know what catfish day means. Look at all these boats, joy fishing. Everywhere. Got two more coming out through there. Watch Bar, you've been good to us today. We appreciate you. For sure. Alright, we up here at the way in. People loading up, they went in over there. So we're gonna have to get out and go get some baskets and get these fish weighed. I hope to get a little bit of footage while I'm up there. If I can't, I'm sorry. Y'all know how it is. Good old boys reviving these fish. Daniel's coming. He got the burper. Damn, he's there. I don't know. You see it there? A couple of them sitting on the bottom. That ain't gonna work on me. Put it on the 
Is he gets more. This is the only way, and I was able to get it. Sorry, yo. This is not in your boat. I would highly, highly suggest when you fish deeper water to have this in your boat. And all times of the year, you know, you're going to have this problem with fish because they're just down and you bring, if they come up too quick, they get air in their bladder and they need burp. Um, I think just about most of them have swimmed off and it was air. And if they didn't swim off, it's probably we didn't get down there pearl quick enough. So, you know, I cannot stress enough. If anybody wants to look at it, see how I did it, I'll let it sit up here. But please, especially if you're going to tournament fish, Put this in your boat. I can't stress that enough. You don't have one. Turn them this upside down. Sometimes you've got to stick your arm clear up and you stick your arm up here. You get to be a little ladder. I don't want to take your arm. Thanks for it. It's 23 bucks. Ryan does all the work, and there's a lot of work behind the scenes people don't realize. Yeah, I've seen them with those pictures you post. <laughs> <laughs> for everybody going to get a plaque, I've had a hell of a year getting plaques this year. They ship my plaque to somebody else. And they shouldn't be their plaques. And I didn't think anybody wanted a 25-year anniversary plaque, so I left that one at home. <laughs> the plaques are now sitting at my house because they aired, they overnighted them, and I got them this morning, my wife said. So I'm going to have to mail you whoever gets plaques, plaques. So whoever gets a plaque, don't leave. Let me get your address. I don't have enough tournaments until September. I will mail them out, especially for you Ohio boys, because I have to mail them to you. Uh, first off, I'm going to do... Uh, top finishing youth, and uh, I believe he was a top finishing youth last last month. So once again, come on up here. Good job. Fifty dollars. For everybody don't know, every tournament we have a we'll get a plaque, which I'll get him send his, send his plaque to him. But uh, River Rat Rural Repair has donated fifty dollars per tournament for the top finishing youth. So that's just a little extra prize to bring the youngsters out. Um, you know, make sure you thank those guys. You know, without them, I, you know, and B and M has donated a rod to each youth too. So, you know, I appreciate these sponsors stepping up, trying to get those youth out here fishing. I mean, you ain't that young. I just don't have a horse in the woods. Somebody needs to donate a measuring board. A measuring board? I'll work on that. Uh, we're, we, we're going to pay four places today. Uh, we had 23 teams, which would only been three places, but I went and threw in a fourth place. We were right there on the bubble. So fourth place is going to get their entry fee back, $120. That would be Cody Chambers and David. Good job, guys. Hey. Good job, guys. Appreciate it. Go ahead and get that. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Evan. Third place today in Quick Fish today. Aaron Massey and uh, Justin Blaylock. Good job. So we get a plaque too, don't we? We'll get a plaque. Okay, all right. You guys stay close. Well, here, I'll get them over. Second place today. Cool.